right, so it's time to get crazy with the top 30. It is Joe Flores and Terry Winston to kick things off. Short round of the number eight pick draw. They've got the chance to do it. It's Joe Flores and Terry Winston, 28-58. They're going to be plus five. They are 14 and 84. 14, 84. That's going to give them a total now in the average of, oh, let's call it 43 and 38. All right, here's Cecil Keith and Rex Foster here. The 20 and 18 of 15, 19. I'll make them first. And you bet. Got him on the front side. Now, Rex, hey, hey, looky here. Plus five. They're going to be 13 and 33. They're now the new leaders. They're Our top 28 make it. It's going to be Pete Flores and Jeremy Flores with a 27.67. Oh, the Floreses. Money divvied out. They're looking for their chance. Here's Pete Flores on the frontier. Jeremy Flores. And they are singing the colores. They're going to be here. Good. Oh, we don't recommend that, boys, but you make it to work. There's going to be no time. No time. And you make it look good. No time. I'm actually, it's going to be 928. Now, Jared and Mark are 2680. They're going to be a 10, 14, or better to go to the number one spot. They're going to be followed by Pitts and Wright, second out. Come on, here we go. And they are no time now. It's top 26. I was getting ahead of myself. We'll go to the 26 college chip Pitts and Jolene Wright with a 2657. Pits and right here. They, oh, Jolene, let's get it. Jolene, Jolene, yeah. Jolene, Jolene. All right, plus five. They are 17 flat. 17 flat. They are 43.57. It's going to be Clayton Boney and his partner, Wesley Allison. They're 25 and 82 here. Right now, Pete and Jeremy Flores are leading the rope. And they are no time. Top 24. Let's see what Robert Jackson and John Johnson can do. 25 and 60 is what they're working with. Then it'll be 1134. John, these guys come here together out of Fairfield, Texas. Let's see what the conversation is going to be like on the way home. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be quiet. There's going to be no time. All right, we're going to be Lloyd Yelverton and Joe Riddabaugh. This team with the 25 43. Oh, uh, here we go. Lloyd to the head side now, Joe. Get him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's gonna be no time. Top 22. Here's Tracy Shirley and Bruce Smith with a 25 and 18. 1176 can get it for you. Let's put the pressure on the top 21. Here's Tracy and Bruce. Oh, no. No, there are gonna be no time. All right, Steve York and Bryce, uh, Bryce. Latre are 2505 and they got to be 1189 to lead the rope and Steve York Bryce Latre 2505 come on you can do this right here uh oh uh oh Steve York Bryce Latre and it is going to be call number two uh oh for Steve and Bryce Call number three for Steve and Bryce. Oh, man. They are going to be turned out, and we go to the top 20 now. 20th callback is Ryan Kelton and Justin Garrett with a 25-04. Oh, get to the horn. Get to the horn. And, no, oh, they run out of line. They're going to be no time. All right, it's going to be Ryan, or I'm sorry, Chet Pitts, Mason Pitts here with the 2495, the 19th callback. And they are plus five. They're going to be 1536 total for them in the average. 40 and 31. That's going to put them second right now, top 18. Let's go. It's Amanda Oversby and Travis Edwards, 24 and 83. Amanda making her debut here at the USTRC at the Lone Star Original Finals here in Waco with 18th call. They could be 12 11. Let's see if we can get a check. Travis Edwards. Oh, no time. 
as we get set. We're going to rock and roll right through here. It's April Fortin and Mark Rush. Right now, April is in the lead of the Cruel Girl Championship. All right. I mean to tell you, ready to get lots of this money. American woman, mama, let me be Oh, golly, man. It's going to be no time. Now to the top 60. Here's Justin and Ruben Martinez with a 24 and 51. Wind it up, boys. Wind it up. Here we go. 12.43. We've got a river walk. Be the talk of the town. Martinez, boys. 24-51. Oh, get him, get him. You got him. They're going to be plus five. They are 1686. That's including five with a leg. They're 4137. And guys, you are third in the average. All right. We're going to go to Kevin Holder and Clyde Moody with the 2401. 1293 will make you the leaders of the rope. I like the old lady hot top strap with the gum bone. And they have trouble. They're going to be no time now to the top 14. Here's John Rosner and Ronnie Mucha with a 23 and 78. And it's going to be real good for you. It'll be 13, 16. And get around that horn. Come on. Get it tight. They're going to be plus five. They are 18, 84 with a leg. Going to cost them here. They are 42, 62. That puts them fifth in the average. Well, we're going to go now to Tammy Guess and Ty Marshall. This team, 23-71. There she was, just walking down the street singing. Oh, man, it's going to be no time top 12. Don Evans and Frank Castro with a 23-28. Oh, no. No time. Uh, let's go to the boys from Oklahoma and everybody from this point forward's getting paid. All right. We're going to play the game to see who gets the most. Ah, you bet. 23.05. They got to be a 13.89 to lead it. It's going to be no time. They went 18th. They got them a paycheck. 240 bucks. Tenth call is Kurt Lundenberg and Brian Johnson. 22.78. All right, it's Kurt Lundberg on the front side. Throws it out there, yep, and Brian Johnson, oh, trying to get everything put together here. Hey, look at here, maybe so, maybe so. Well, they're going to waste some time, but they're going to be plus five. They're 18-15, 18-15. When it's all said and done, they're going to be 40-93, and guys, you are third in the average. Let's go to Kirby Blankenship, Matt Siler. This team's at the 22 and 55. Oh, looky here. Oh, no, no. They're going to be no time. Here is Darren Langley and Lance Dickens. They're 22-33. 14-61. I'll help you out here. And they're off. They're off. They got them a little goodie right here. Good. That'll work. Lance Dickens, get him. They're going to be plus five. They are 13.65. They are number one in the average right now, folks, with a time of 35 and 98, number one. Elton, Heine, and Larry Smith are the next team to rope. They're 22.32, and a 13.65 will put them the leaders of the rope. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're cleaning it up nice. They're going to be 10, oh, 5. Total for them in the average, they are number one. They're 32 and 37. Here are the Wilkerson, Scott and Susan, the six callback out of China Spring, Texas, with a 21 and 48. Pretty woman walking down the street. They're going to be no time. No time. Top five now. They'll win 16th. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good deal. Hannah Alexander and her partner is Zachary Woods. They need to catch one right here in a run of about, hey, 1098 will put them first. Oh, and they scoop one up. They're going to be 977, and we got new leaders. They're 3115. All right, De Leon's now, 
Fourth call back, 2071. 20 and 71. Hopefully, let's see Clayton DeLeon. And they are gonna find him a leg. They are 14.08 with the penalty. Their total is going to be 34.79, their third. All right, that's gonna bring us now to Mike Collier and Cole Weaver. This team of the 1956, 11.58 for these guys. Oh, Mike, man, no time. That team's going to win 15th, and we go to the second callback of Sherry and Bill McDonald. 12-12, and taking home no less than $3,260. Kiss belt buckles. They are right on track. Bill McDowell, call McDonald, get him. Plus five. They're going to be 17-59. Here's the high back, Jared Barta and Cole Henry. They are 20, they are 1781. They need to be at 1333. No, no, yes, we and they whoop it down there. Got him by two. They're gonna be a seven and ninety-one. Throw your hat, cowboy. You guys, number one. They're gonna get five thousand one hundred and forty-eight dollars. They get six thousand in flex earnings and they get those trophy guest belt buckles. Hi, I'm Jerry. Farron Lucero, and I am standing here with our number eight pick draw champions of the Lone Star Regional Finals right here in Waco, Texas, Jared Barta and Cole Henry. Well, Jared, let's start with you. You guys get here today, and how long have you been knowing this guy? I just met him today. <laughs> Everything works out. This pick and draw, it's, it's, a, it's a great situation. It happened to be a winning combination for the two of you. Is this your first guest belt buckle? Yes, sir. How's it feel to win that and $5,000, just over $5,000 to split? Awesome. <laughs> well, Cole, let's go to you. This is your debut here at a USTRC event? Yes, sir. And how does it, what, what brought you here to Waco? A uh, buddy of mine texted me and said, hey, you want to come rope in the nine? And I came and got in the nine, didn't do any good. And uh, he hooked me up, up with him in the eight, and that's how it pretty much happened. Well, hey, guys, 5000 to the good right now. What did you like about this event, Jared? All of it. <laughs> it was great. Well, guys, congratulations. Enjoy them gist belt buckles. Hopefully we'll get to see you guys at the Cinch National Finals at Team Roping in October. 